Hey guys! Hello, Internet! <laughs> Welcome to the Internet! Let us be your guide! <laughs> Easy. This is my friend Christian Castle. This is Crypto Rico USA, everyone. Konnichiwa! It's, <laughs> it's day 8 out of 30. We are doing a 30-day um, challenge, self imposed for myself. And uh, happy to report that I'm here with my co-founder, Christian Castle. We do day 8 out of 30. El número 8. <laughs> that is for the people at home. Right. Do you want to tell us about yourself a little bit? Oh, uh, my name is Christian Cancio, but a lot of people know me by my codename Kanye West. I am Uber driver number one, all of Puerto Rico. Stand up comic number one, all of Puerto Rico. Love maker number one, all of Puerto Rico. And I here to to educate the people of the world and how to be Puerto Rican so the people of the world show you how to be people of the world. How, how, how do you view um, us coming from America into Puerto Rico to, to be with your people and to be part of Puerto Rican society? As I say, I do not believe in countries. I do not believe in states. I believe that we are all one people and I, I do not like to limit myself with nationalism. I like to have all the people of all the world come to Puerto Rico and share their experiences so we can share our experiences with them and grow together as a society. So, so you really just want to have a bunch of beautiful people around the world to come? I to just Rico. want all the pretty girls <laughs> in the world to come to Puerto Rico and marry the prince of Puerto Rico, uh, my friend. <laughs> I'm the prince of Puerto Rico. Okay, all right. We, we, we know you now. <laughs> so we started Crypto Rico USA, me and Cassio. Uh, we met in a very special night, actually. It was a full moon night and a second full moon of March. A blue moon. A blue moon, right? You heard the saying, once in a blue moon? It was in a way that we say that an adventure happened without even planning for it. And we started this because there's a lot of misconceptions about, you know, what's going on in Puerto Rico? Well, why do all these people coming down? And, and what, why do we do here in Puerto Rico? All these things, right? Well, we want to work with the local people to really say that we're here to, to save ourselves from paying excessive tax, but also to, to enjoy a new life and to start business and to help ourselves. And in helping ourselves, we open source in helping other people as well. It's a mutually beneficial relationship, the people of Puerto Rico <laughs> and the people of the blockchain. You no pay no taxes, and we go to the future. <laughs> so, so how do we go to the future, right? So we're gonna bring in a lot of experts' opinions and understanding of different technologies, not just blockchain, but also AI, robotics, anything that benefit human, right? Human societies, and and some of that's actually the arts. You know, the arts is actually I just joke with this my friends here is you know no robots can play as well the violin as I even I play uh, because. It's uniquely human things to do. The arts, creativity, for now. It is like having a robot Kanye West. That would never work, my yeah, friend. That would never, never work. Gonna, as funny as Chrissy Gans. <laughs> robot jokes. So, so you want to tell the story of how we met and what, what do we do the next morning? It was 4.33 in the morning. And I was going to go to Kanye sleep. And I... I hang, I do not sleep, I hang outside down like a bat, like Dracula. And uh, I, uh, I met Ben, I picked him up in Old San Juan. And we started talking about blockchain. And I had just put on Twitter a DM to Mr. Brock Pierce. He is like, like the rock star, like the rock star of the blockchain. And he moved to Puerto Rico, and he was talking about making Puerto Rico a utopia. And that got me very interested. I love Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico already a utopia. You guys just figuring out right now. <laughs> so I, I talked to my friend Ben, and he was like, Oh, you, you know bro Pierre? You know bro Pierre? I know bro Pierre. And he showed me a photo, and we went on to find. The magical miracle man. <laughs> <laughs>
from the future. <laughs> he was nowhere to be found if he won. He left Puerto Rico already. So that, that turned out that, that weekend actually was pretty fun. And, we went uh, to Rico. <laughs> We went to Rico and it was amazing! <laughs> it was Easter weekend. We were looking for the bunny's rabbit, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so on the full moon. And Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so anyway, so so to bring it back to Earth, right? So this is, this is a fun story about how we met, how we start. That's how I felt about Puerto Rico is it's I found outside of San Juan many beautiful landscapes. And, and the peoples of Puerto Rico, peoples, because they are a diverse group of people, right? And they all, each localities, like municipalities, have different cultures and different flavors. And, and because of that myth chasing, this myth man called Brock Pierce, um, because I know, I'm, I was curious to see how this interaction would go between Kanye West and <laughs> Brock Pierce. <laughs> and we ended up, uh, because of that trip, we ended up <clears throat> finding the concept of, you know, how. How do people want to know about Puerto Rico, right? So there's a lot of people who are moving down here for a new life, expats, so to speak, uh, moving down here to Puerto Rico. And we need to find a, a network or some kind of source of information to understand how to live here cheaply, how to understand, um, you know, how, how to live here happily on very low budget, uh, for example. But also, like, how to enjoy, find the hidden richness of life in paradise, right? And beautiful landscape, beautiful people like this, funny ah. people. Um, and, and, you know, and also for you guys to showcase Puerto Rican culture. It is very good, my friend. It is a very <laughs> good task for us to show you us the beauty of our island. <clears throat> All right, man? <clears throat> so, uh, that is our job here at Puerto uh, at Crypto Rico USA. What, what do you hope to accomplish from Crypto Rico USA being involved? I hope, I hope to bring change, to, have a, to give my little droplet, my little grain of sun in the, in the ever-flowing evolution of the Puerto Rico culture and economy and future. I want to make, put Puerto Rico on the map of the places of the world and have the places of the world take away a bit of Puerto Rico with them. And now Ben plays the violin. He did very good, my friend. Thanks guys. Bye bye.